Hi, this is Lori with Kingdom. I'm here today to show you how you can add events to your calendar um, in your WordPress site. Today, we're going to go into the dashboard of one of the sites I'm working on. Um, in this case, as you look at the site, um, the calendar we have is a calendar from a plugin we've added to your website. The plugin is called Church Admin. And as you can see right now, I've actually uh, loaded one event, which is your basic Sunday service. I mean, you can obviously add as many things as you wish. Um, so I just wanted to show you what this appears like on your page. Um, it will vary in color according to the um, settings within your website. Um, this is a very uh, clean looking site, so we're going to keep that black color there. And when we want to go in to our website and make changes or add events or remove things from the calendar, we use Church Admin. Um, it's a really great plugin with a lot of features. We really like it. Um, plus, uh, we like the multiple features it allows with nth days of the month kind of thing, which a lot of people really like. So when you want to do this, you're going to click on church admin, either from the top or over here on the left. Now, this opens up a second uh, dashboard. This is the church admin dashboard. You still have your other dashboard here from WordPress. This is for this plugin specifically. So you can see that you can do quite a lot with this, um, but today we're just going to work on the calendar and focus there. So um, one of the things I recommend when you begin with church admin is to add your email address in right up here um, and sign up for their free manual. The manual looks like this, it's a PDF, and it explains everything you can do with this really great tool. Um, you may not use everything. We typically set up the calendar and the media files for upload for MP3s and things like that. So, but you are welcome to take advantage of everything that's in there. Um, that being said, let's go to our calendar. And when you click on calendar, it will pull up your calendar here. Now, if you wanted to add an event or delete an event, you can do it several ways. This one here, let's say that we wanted to edit this particular event, you would just click on it. Um, if we wanted to delete it, um, if we wanted to add a photo to it, we could choose file here. And then, we can pick one. Let's see, we'll just throw one in here, just an image for, for fun. And in this case, we just wanted to add that image, so we're gonna save that event. Now, when we go in here, if we don't see it when, well, we're gonna go back. This is the image we put in. And when we go here, if we refresh this page, we can see as we hover over it, there's our worship service and the image that we just added in. So we're gonna go back to the dashboard now, and let's say that we wanna add a new event. There are several ways to do it. Um, one of the things we recommend in the beginning is to add categories. So you can add categories right here. Um, Let's do a category for, um, let's say it's a children's events. And we will make it, let's make it something cheery. And we'll add that category. So you can see here, we have several. And I've already put those in and colored them. The short code that you see over here, this is actually if you had like, let's say you have a women's fellowship page, you might copy this short code, use the short code widget in Elementor, and then you would have a list of all of the events that would take you back to the calendar for the women's fellowship. So it's a nice tool, um, but you don't really have to do that. 
it will show up in your regular calendar for events. So now that we've added categories and I've shown you how to do that, um, what we're going to do is we're going to go in and add a calendar event here. And again, there are two ways to do that. You can do it this way. So what we're going to do here is let's add a special event um, for kids. Um, Let's say it's a children's puppet show, just for fun. If we had a video, or actually rather not a video, but a image, or let's say you had a flyer that you were sending out, uh, you could do that here as well, add it in um, to, to uh, give people additional information. Um, we might say that this is something uh, for the whole family. And you can say where it's going to be. So let's say it's going to be at the city park. And back, uh, facility room is actually going to link any, if you have several areas, it will link you to those. And there is a place to add them in over here under facilities. So um, we're just putting that this is at the park. Our category is a children's event. Um, the start time, let's say that we're going to do this on the um, Saturday the 23rd, and it's going to be a one-time event, and we're going to start it at 2 p.m. And you don't have to put an end time in. Um, you can put that it's all day. Um, that probably will take this out. Anytime you want to change or go up or down, you can use these little icons. Very simple um, to fix and change. So we'll say this is just going to go till 4 o'clock. And if you have a flyer, again, or a link to, let's say this was at somebody else's church, you might want to put a link into their church if they have an advertisement on there um, in the community. So that's kind of a cool thing to do. And then we're going to have it appear on our yearly planner. And we're going to save this event. And we'll see that it shows up here. This is the back end where you can go and you can click on an event and you can edit it from here as well um, and change things around. So. Um, it's just a nice feature. Again, we can go to the front, refresh it, and see that it shows up right here. And again, everything shows up as the people that view it can hover right over it. Edit will not show up. Um, that is just for you because as you see with this black bar, um, we are in the back end of the site. We're viewing in the front end, but these are the tools to help you get back uh, to the dashboard. Those are not viewable to anyone um, just viewing the website on the web. Okay, so let's see. Um, we have a different um, event that we want to put in. Um, we might want to add an event. Let's see. Let's say that it starts every Friday. So we're going to pick this first Friday. This is going to be, um, let's say it's a men's breakfast. And again, if you have an image, great. If not, no big deal. Um, join, you don't have to even say anything, but you can say, join us and bring a friend. Anything you want to put in there. Um, we're going to say that this is at... We're just going to make something up. Denny's on 5th Street. Um, category will be Men's Fellowship. Start date, we had May 8th being the first one, which is already there. So we'll just click on that. Reoccurring. Let's say that the gentlemen do this every other week. So if you're doing it every two weeks, no matter what, you're going to pick fortnightly. How many times in all it will ask you that um, when it's not a one-time event? The most you can put is like, I think, 999. So we do that. Then if it changes, you can change it later. Um, let's say the men meet at 7 a.m. And 
we don't even, we'll leave it off, see if we need to do anything there. Um, because it might go till however the men are done, whatever time they decide to finish. And we'll add it to our annual yearly planner. Again, I'll show you that in a little bit. And here we can see men's breakfast and men's breakfast. If we go to the next month, we will see again men's breakfast. So that's your fortnightly. That would be every other week. Okay, so let's try one more to give you a good idea. Um, we're going to add another event. Um, we loaded it here last time, just clicking on the date that we wanted. Um, so now we're going to do it from add a calendar event here. Okay, so if we wanted to do something, the uh, let's say the first Wednesday of the month, we're going to do corporate prayer. Let's do that. We'll choose that one. And again, these are things that I've added before, and the computer does remember. Um, you can add anything new in here that you want. So as you see those on the drop down, don't be confused. Um, it's not a big deal. Um, then what we're going to do is call this um, join us for prayer. Every first Wednesday of the month. And nice thing about this is it will allow you to right click on there and fix any kind of grammatical error that you want to fix. Um, we're going to put this in the main sanctuary. And we're going to make this be. Um, we haven't really created a category, I don't think, for this one. We'll call it special events. Um, if you want to go back and do that, all you have to do is go back and add a category. Um, our start date will be the first Wednesday of the... Eh, we're going to do this. Let's see. We'll do it the first Wednesday of the month. So the nth day is what you would click on. We're going to do the first... Wednesday of the month. And we want to do it as many times as possible. We're going to do this at 6 a.m. End time. We don't need an end time. Um, if you wanted to link something to that again, you could. We're going to put it on the yearly planner and we're going to save that. So you can see um, that there's a lot of things that you can do and your page ends up fairly colorful. When we go to the front here, Again, our other events are showing up. Um, it'll say 6 a.m. to 12 a.m. if you do not put a finishing time in. Um, it's just a default of the program. So, you know, you may want to put in there 7 a.m., 6 to 7 a.m. Um, that's a really good way to go. So I just wanted to show you how that works. Same thing here. This one, we added an end time so you can see this right in there. Um, Sunday service, we put till about 1230. Um, people like to know when they're going to get to go to lunch sometimes, mm -hmm. so it's okay to put that in, um, even if it, your service doesn't end quite that soon. So um, that's the basics on this. If we decide um, we want to change anything or delete something, let's say that the puppet show is canceled, we can just click on it and open it up and delete this single event just like that, and it's gone. So um, basically, that is how this works. And one final thing that I would like to show you is um, the reason that it's really nice to have those color-coded items is that anyone viewing your website can go here. They can click on the year planner that they like. It takes a second for it to load. Um, being that it's a PDF, but it automatically creates this for you so that you have a color-coded yearly planner and all of your highlighted events are over here. So it's a very nice feature that people can print off and put on their desk or their refrigerator or wherever they choose. And that concludes this tutorial today for the calendar. Hope that helps out. Thanks so much and have a blessed day.